Happy morning everyone! I am Teacher Rona, your learning buddy in today's episode. Let's dig into another journey of developing yourself as a wool person. For today's episode, I want you to relax and enjoy as we journey deeper about yourself and make your discovery even more exciting as getting to know someone you idolize like K-Pops. In this episode, you will not only identify your unique characteristics, but we will also uncover the different habits and experiences that you have which may have contributed to who you are today. Let's go! It's time to start your learning adventures, the Super Teen Stella Escuela! As you perform each learning activity, I would like you to get hold of your modules, your answer sheet, and pencil or ball pen. Are you now ready to learn your second learning task? Yay! Sounds good! For a start, I want you to answer the following questions. I will give you a minute to think about your answer and write it on a sheet of paper that will also serve as your answer sheet for the rest of the activities we will be doing today. The first question is, are you happy when you are able to express yourself well? Why? The second one, do you feel bad when a friend gets hurt because you told him about his bad attitude? And last, how do you feel when a friend corrects you of your bad behavior? Time's up! So, how do you find the questions? How did you answer number one? Do you want expressing yourself? How about number two? The Bible says, The truth hurts, but it will set you free. Do you tell that to your friends? The third one? How do you take corrections from friends? or from people who says they care about you? Well, your answers to those questions will somehow determine how grown up you are or maybe how far you have outgrown your immaturities. That was a good start. I am pretty sure you hit them right. You will have a taste of more learnings if you keep tuned in the Super Teens Tell Us Coela. Have you ever asked yourself the following questions? What is my purpose in life? What is the reason why I am here? Why does my path cross those whose lives are far more different than I am? You see, everything that happens to you contributes to your personality. As we all know, Experience is the best teacher, right? And every time we meet someone or get into a situation, we learn something. We discover things we never knew before. And yes, it adds to your character. How we respond and even react to the things which may reveal our character. We all go through the process 
and understanding it deeper will also help us realize the worth that we have and the very reason why God created us. As Socrates stated, To know thyself is the beginning of wisdom. Let us have another activity. This time, I want you to look at your favorite profile picture on Facebook or Instagram. Can you think of one adjective that will best describe your picture? Take a second and look at it once again. This time, answer the questions that will be flashed again on the screen. I want you to write your answers on your answer sheet. The first question is, is there anything you wanted to change, especially about the way you look or the way you were raised? What would it be and why? The second one, if you are given a chance to know the future, what would you want to know? The third one, what is it about yourself that you are most grateful about? And why? So, how was it? Are you satisfied with your answers? Let's proceed! You have learned that self-concept is the way you see yourself. And yes, this is represented by several aspects which is conceived as a collection of multiple, context-dependent selves. Digging deeper, there are different aspects of development that yourself had to go through. First, we have the physical self, your height, weight, facial expression, skin, hair. Basically, it is how you look. We also have the intellectual self. This involves how you respond or react to situations or how you reason out and justify your doings. Of course, we have the emotional self, which involves your feelings. Another one is the sensual self. This involves the way your different senses react to things. We also have the interactional self, which interprets the way you get along with others. Let us not forget the nutritional self, which tells about the foods you like or dislike. And of course, the contextual self. It involves your reaction to the environment. And last, but definitely not the least, you have your spiritual self. This may be the last, but I tell you that this is the most important because it goes within your inner self, your thoughts, your feelings, and your spirituality. Well, that's you, the whole you, and everything about you. All of those has something to do with your personality. You see, your personality is not determined by one single factor but of accumulated factors we have been exposed with. It can be biological or physical, 
which may involve the inherent traits you got from your parents. It can also be social, which you have seen from the society that you live in, or the environment you have been exposed with. Of course, we have the cultural and situational factors, and both involves every situation we got to observe every day. Your personality development is a process, and every day, you are growing. Something is added into it, and you become better. Well, that was a quite a blast, and I guess I had your neurons working now. Before we take a break, I would like to give you some trivia. Did you know that American singer, songwriter, and actress Demi Lovato was diagnosed with bipolar disorder when she entered rehab at age 22? Before her diagnosis, she had struggled with bulimia and drug addiction. She has chosen to use her fame to help eliminate the stigma and advocate for treatment. Taking part in campaign called Be Vocal, Speak Up for Mental Health in 2015. We shall pursue for a short break, but we will be right back. As we post, I want you to think of this. Do you have some values or achievements that you are so very proud of? What is it that you do best, better than others? Do you have any unique skill or talent perhaps? When we return, we shall answer those questions. For now, just sit back and relax and Super Dintel Escuela will be right back. Can you tell now which among your values had contributed a lot to who you are now? Are you contented with what you can do or how others see you? How about the areas you need to improve? Do you have some? Is there a significant person that you look up to? and hope that someday you will also be like him or her. Well, your answers to these questions determine how much you have learned today. Congratulations, super teens! You really did well in this episode. Just before we end our telescuela, I want you to reflect on this. God created all of us. And we all have unique characteristics. We may be identified with someone, or maybe others see you the way they see your parents. But you have to remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. You have your own purpose. Discover that and fulfill it according to how God had planned your life to become. Well, I guess that was it. Did you enjoy our session today? I do hope that you learned a lot from your learning adventures with me. How about giving yourself a great job clap? Again, this is Teacher Rona. Please tune in again tomorrow, same time, same station, for another learning journey with Super Dintel Escuela. Till then, happy viewing!